hello again so we were studying about the division of nervous system right so i have told you that it is it has you know two parts central nervous system and peripheral nervous system so central nervous system has brain and spinal cord central nervous system has the mid portion of the our body okay matlab just think mid portion of our body brain and spinal cord and peripheral nervous system has the peripheral portion means side portions the nerves which stays in, uh, you know in the uh, hands and uh, legs in the upper limbs and lower limbs okay so let's see here this is the central nervous system and the nerves here the you know two sides of our body it's called peripheral nervous system okay so peripheral nervous system has two parts sensory uh, division and motor division sensory division then further divided into two parts somatic nervous system autonomic nervous system then this autonomic nervous system is further divided into two parts sympathetic division and parasympathetic division so let's move to the next so let's understand how you how uh, you will explain the central nervous system central nervous system it plays an primary role in receiving information okay central nervous system means the brain and spinal cord means mainly they receive information okay they receive information and then they produce a response okay they receive information from the various areas of the body and then they produce body's response now peripheral nervous system let's understand the peripheral nervous system th this okay so it brings information to the central nervous system it brings information brings information from the body to the central nervous system okay brain and spinal cord and then after cns produce the body's response peripheral nervous system then take the information from cns to our body after the central nervous system produce our response then the peripheral nerves take the body's response from our the central nervous system to our body okay okay so central uh, peripheral nervous system is divided into two portions sensory afferent division okay so sensory means you know sensing things okay sensory division sensory neurons are mainly responsible for sensing things any kind of sense any kind of feelings like touch smell pain sensory neurons are responsible for sensing things as example touch smell and pain okay sensory afferent division sends information to the central nervous system via sensory neurons sensory neurons okay sensory neurons what do what they take the signal from the body and then you know take it to the central nervous system so that central nervous system can produce a response okay now the motor efferent neuron motor efferent neuron let's see motor means doing some action doing some movement okay so take information from then motor nervous system do what after cns produce a response okay after central nervous system sensory nerve nerve sensory neurons take the information to the body then central nervous system produce a response after central nervous system produce the response the motor ef efferent neuron take the response and uh, you know take it to the body okay take information from the central nervous system and take it to the body okay so take it to the target cell what did you mean by target cell okay so example i will give a example and you will understand what is the sensory nervous system and what is the motor uh, motor division okay so suppose a person wants to you know uh, move a leg okay move her leg because he wants he or she wants to okay a person wants to move her leg means she wants to uh, run okay because she you know saw some snake or something so she wants to run now so uh, you know her sensory nervous system will see that okay snake and she will just take the information that okay i'm seeing a snake and she take the information to the central nervous system after central nervous system then okay they understand okay so she uh, saw a snake now she has to run um, to save herself so she you know central nervous system produce a response that okay now you have to run so then after producing that okay you have to run the motor efferent neuron then take the um, response and then take it to our legs okay our skeletal muscle then we run so this is the actual 
uh, you know physiology actual function of the sensory nervous system and motor nervous system the afferent neuron will take the information and then you know take it to the skeletal muscle of the leg so skeletal muscle is the target cell now here skeletal muscle is the target cell okay i hope you understand now let's study the somatic nervous system we have studied that afferent neuron uh, or motor division afferent not efferent neuron and you know the motor uh, you know motor neurons have further you know two types which is somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system let's understand the somatic nervous system somatic nervous system controls the voluntary movement voluntary movements means voluntary means which we have control like we want to move our hand we want to move our leg so we can control okay so which we can control is called voluntary movements so example moving hands legs can be done with the help of somatic nervous system okay now the autonomic nervous system they control the involuntary response involuntary response means you know we don't have any control over it like heartbeat okay we don't we can't control our heartbeat right so yeah now autonomic nervous system is divided into two parts which is sympathetic and parasympathetic sympathetic is fight response means more active when we are exercising or doing any work okay and parasympathetic means this is the rest response means this they produce rest response means more active during rest and eat okay so let's ex uh, see a example and you will understand what is parasympathetic and sympathetic okay example efferent neuron takes the response from cns then you know suppose a signal to the heart okay efferent um, we have to give a signal to our heart so efferent neuron will take the response from the central nervous system and then takes it to our heart now sympathetic division what is the function of sympathetic division in this case sympathetic division will you know take the signal and increase the heartbeat okay because it is a fight response it is a fight response it is active during exercise so when we do any exercise so our heartbeat increase right so you know sympathetic division will increase our heartbeat and parasympathetic division they will decrease our heartbeat so when it will get active uh, during our sleep or you know heartbeat became relaxed right so yeah that's it i hope you understand if you have any doubt then let me know